Hello, my name is Samantha and in this video I will be demonstrating alarm settings and management on the Zeus IE. After switching from system standby to operation, all non-technical alarms are deactivated for one minute to allow sufficient time to select a suitable setting. This is confirmed by the message all alarms off in the header bar. If an alarm is triggered, this message will be displayed in the header bar. You'll also see the LED strip illuminate and the alarm messages are classified according to three different colors. Low priority alarms will be displayed in blue. They are technical and advisory messages. This requires attention and or action. A tone sequence will be heard. Medium priority alarms will be displayed in yellow and you'll see the LED strip indicator reflect this colour also. A tone sequence will sound every 30 seconds and this requires immediate action. To silence an alarm, the soft key for audio silence can be pressed. This will silence the alarm for two minutes with the remaining time displayed in the top right hand corner of the screen. Pressing this button a second time will silence all audio alarms and pressing it again will cancel the audio silence function. A high priority message will be displayed in red. with the LED strip indicator reflecting this colour also. A continuous tone sequence will be heard. To access more information regarding an alarm, you can do this by tapping on the message in the header bar, which will display the alarm dialog window. Here, it will open up to alarm info, where it will display the duration of the alarm, the priority and the specific alarm message. The highlighted alarm message will also display the specific cause and remedy. If there are multiple current alarms, by highlighting the desired alarm will bring up the desired message. Alarm log will display a list of all the alarms that have been triggered during the course of the case. By selecting graph trend or tabular trend, this will open up the trend display as either curves or as a table at the time of the selected alarm. The alarm limits will display the relevant parameter and the 30 minute trend of that parameter. The orange dotted line represents the alarm limits and in this instance there is an upper and a lower limit. By touching on another parameter will display information specific to that. All limits displays all your parameter alarms. The auto set button allows alarm limits to be set to current measured values and will readjust limits to a configured percentage above and below the current measured value. To auto set alarms, select the button and confirm with the rotary knob. Here you can see the alarm limits have automatically been adjusted to current measured values. Under auto set limits is where you can adjust your auto set values. In the event an alarm limit is breached, alarm message will be displayed and the corresponding parameter box will flash. To adjust an alarm limit, select alarms from the main menu. Here you can see the breached alarm limit highlighted to allow for easy alarm management. Using the rotary knob, make your adjustment and then confirm. In the Suspend tab, you have the option to acknowledge technical alarms by selecting Confirm here.
you have the option to switch CO2 alarms off by selecting it from the main menu. Apnea alarms off suppresses apnea and minute ventilation low alarms during manual spontaneous phase. When changing to mechanical ventilation, the alarm system will become active again. To activate cardiac bypass monitoring mode, this can be selected from the right hand side menu. Touch this button will activate cardiac bypass mode. In this mode, Apnea alarms are disabled and for users with integrated patient monitoring in the ZEUS, it will also turn off alarms for ECG, pulse oximetry and NIBP. A message displayed in the alarm header bar and in the waveform for CO2 will confirm that CBM mode is on. For further information on alarm settings and management, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative.